Hi everybody. In this video, I am going to show you how to take a woman's long sleeve shirt and make it into a shorter sleeve. Um, I'm not going to go too short because I like mine a little bit longer. And summer is here. And so, or almost, it's almost summer. And so there are a lot of flying bugs that like to bite, but also because of the heat and the humidity, um, I want to uh, kind of create some airflow. So I'm just sliding this up where the shoulder fits my shoulder. I'm not going to move the cuff and I want it about here. And you guys, I got to tell you about these pens. Stick around to the end. They are amazing. Okay. So the only problem with using a pen is that when I use the chalk, I can just you know, put the ruler here, chalk it, flip it up, chalk it. Can't really do that with a pen, although I will probably try. Okay, so this is how long I want it. This is going to be my fold line. And so I'm going to line my ruler up to that. This is kind of a puffy shirt, so we're going to just mess with this a little bit. Sorry, I'm trying to look through the camera lens because I don't want to get my head in the camera. So, does that look right to you guys? There's my line. Okay, this shirt does not have much life left in it. When I iron it, you can see a texture on it, which means I think the fibers are breaking down. I've had it forever. I just wear my clothes until they wear out. I'm not a shopper. Okay, there's my line. I'm going to try this. Does that fold? Hopefully I didn't just mess that up. All right, well, maybe it does work. We'll just flip it over and... Sounds like it's starting to rain outside. Okay. So that is my new length line. Does that look right to you guys? I have a feeling that that fold I had under there is going to mess with it. I think it did mess with it a little bit. Yep, just a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay. That's a little better. Okay, so that's the fold line. And I think I want an inch hem. Make sure that's not folded under there. <clears throat> and I can feel under here that I'm going to clear the placket and I hope I clear it for the part that I fold under the hem. It won't be much because I don't I didn't want to take the placket off. I just want to shorten it. Okay. Now for this I'm going to turn it around this side so I can make sure I clear that placket and but still get as close as I can so I can have fabric to tuck under. Okay. 
Okay, to do this alteration, I'm going to turn the shirt inside out so that I can see where I'll be hemming. And when I do an alteration like this, okay, I don't know if you can tell, but this is real flimsy and I feel like it would be easy to get off grain when I'm hemming. So I always start on a seam so I'm going to fold that at the new length line and I'll just kind of fold it loosely like this. I'm going to slide it over my sleeve here or my arm, machine arm, whatever you want to call it. And then I'll fold it at my one inch mark. Now, because like I said, I'm kind of anticipating the um, grain to be a little off or a little wonky. Um, I'm just going to work with it a little at a time. So I want to make sure that these are lined up. Those seams. Oh, I need a straight stitch. Drop that needle down there so it'll hold it in place. And then here I have this yellow, or I'm sorry, this pink line, and I have this pink line here. So I want to make sure that these folds stay on those pink lines, or as close as I can, as long as the grain is correct. So let's just get to the sewing part. So I let me move the camera a little bit. I come down here. I've got this pink line. I've got this pink line. And just try to align it. Now that you see this is off a little bit, but the grain is, is good. So we're going to leave it. Again, readjust to find those lines. Make sure the it's on grain. I like to sew real close to the edge and sometimes my fold gets pulled up between the toes of the presser foot. can see where it got off here. All right, I'm going to go press this and I'll bring it right back. Okay. And this is the hem all pressed out. Let me turn that right side out for you. There you go. So it's really super easy, but I wanted to show you these pens. Okay, I bought these pens because I was looking for another um, way to mark my garments with colors and that erase completely out of the garment and these did the job they are so nice because it's nice to have something that's very precise like a ballpoint pen and i was really excited they're very reasonable i got two um of each color plus you have all the refills this is going to last me forever so I will leave a link in the description box if you guys want to check these out. I was so excited to get them because I, you saw that I marked my shirt with the red or it says red, but it actually looks pink. And I'm going to show you, I don't see any color at all. And you know, as I've mentioned in my, um, Taylor's chalk video that the yellow leaves a color 
in some fabrics and so far I've not had any issues with these they're really nice to have as I said I'll leave a link in the description box and I'll also leave a link in um, for my Amazon store so hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and leave a comment thanks bye